everyone. Welcome back to Home and School. My name is Laura. I'm a homeschool mom to three kids and today I'm going to share with you um, a little review and what, we, what we've thought about kindergarten math with confidence. Okay, so let's start with a quick flip through of kindergarten math with confidence today. Um, what you get is the student workbook, and then you'll also need the instructor guide. Another thing you would definitely need with this is like some counting blocks. And I think you also need, uh, let's see. Yeah, you definitely need like pattern blocks as well. Then there's a materials list in the instructor's guide as well. Um, and for some of those hands-on activities to practice, there's definitely some other odds and ends that you'll need here and there. Um, let's start with the instructor guide. So, starting out with the table of contents, if I can turn the page. All right, so uh, we have numbers to 10, shapes, directions and patterns, comparing numbers to 10, some beginning addition, numbers to 20, measurement, some beginning subtraction, numbers to 100, time. And then we also, with the time, we hit some of the calendar as well. And then you have the introduction, kind of going over just what to expect, and then how to use this book. Um, some main questions to ask yourself, is my child ready for this? using it with a four-year-old, which is something that I did. And my four-year-olds handled this really, really well. Um, and then just an overview of how it all looks and what to expect throughout. So how to handle lessons, what to expect in the lessons, scheduling, and all the things that you'll need. All right, so we have unit one, numbers to 10. Unit one takes four weeks. It is a four day week schedule. So you have four lessons for each week. Week one, this is an overview of week one. What are you gonna need this week? Um, teaching this concept, some ideas for weaving math into everyday life and maybe a, a picture book to read as well. And then this is what the lesson pages look like. Usually it's like a page or two like this. It tells you um, what you need. And then you have a couple of activities to do. And then the workbook page. And that's pretty much how each lesson is laid out. So now we have lesson two of the week. Man, this book. Didn't realize how ripped up that page was. Wow. Okay. Okay, so lesson two of the week. Again, materials that you're going to need. This time you're gonna need a pair of shoes. And then we're gonna learn about the number two with the pair of shoes. We're gonna talk about pairs and then we are going to do the workbook page. And each lesson kind of continues in this way until you get to the end of the week. So at the end of the week, you're gonna have your answer key for those workbook pages. And then we're moving on to week two. So these are all the lessons in that first unit. Week three, I'm gonna show you that end of unit, like a unit checkpoint as well. So this is week four, and then this is the end of the unit. Now we have a unit checkpoint. What to expect at the end of this unit, how to know if your child is ready to move on to the next unit, or if you need to do some extra practice. Right, and then each unit is laid out in that same way. It's very simple and straightforward. Okay, then we take a look at the very end of the book. Okay. Let's see. So at the very end of the book, you have a what I learned this year. This is your very end check, checkpoint or answer key. 
So this is a full scope and sequence of the whole year. So you can see, again, numbers to 10, shapes, directions and patterns, comparing numbers to 10, addition, numbers to 20, measurement, subtraction, numbers to 100, and time. Then this is a complete list of the math books, so the, those picture books that you can bring in and use each week and read together. I have a full list of them, a full materials list. Um, Here's some, so these are like reproducible things. So you have some play money that you can use, especially specifically for families outside of the U.S. So if you don't use the U.S. currency system, um, you might want to use this or you can use your own currency. Got some pattern block templates and in case you didn't get the pattern blocks, you can make your own. Some number examples. This is what your numbers should look like. You could probably even use that to practice. Some centimeter squares. Um, I think I had torn out a couple of additional ones too. So there's also, I use this a lot. So there's also the, the 10 frame. Oops. <laughs> the um, 100 chart and the double 10 frame. So I had torn these out and actually used them with the kids. And I just stick them back in there. So that is the instructor guide. And then this here is the student workbook. My daughter put a sticker on her workbook. <laughs> All right. Again, you have a brief table of contents. So each lesson page has some tracing numbers at the top so we can practice writing our numbers and then it has an activity. So this is like matching, circle the pairs. So remember in that lesson two, we were learning about the number two and pairs. So now we're circling pairs. Um, this one we're learning about the number four and we're drawing four balls in each box. This is the number five, we're gonna match, count and match. So this is all for this first unit. And then once we get into the new unit, the color changes a little bit too. See, all of a sudden it's yellow. So each page is really set up similarly. It's trace the numbers to practice, do the activity. It's one page of work for each lesson. addition here. Tally marks, 10 frames, connect the dots. Now we're measuring and comparing. Now we're crossing out takeaway, subtraction. Counting by twos. Counting by tens. And we connect the dots. And then we have calendar here. And that, some clocks. That is the very end. And there you have it. Okay, so now that we've seen inside it a little bit, I just wanted to talk about how this has worked for us. Um, some of the things that I really enjoy about Math with Confidence is the fact that it's really, really simple to use. Um, so you have those, those lessons outlined for you. It tells you exactly what to say. The materials are pretty easy to come by. Um, it gives you a couple little activities, maybe something hands-on to do, to practice, and then it's just one page of work. And I think this is just really, really great for some of those younger kindergartners, especially when you're when you're really just starting out with introducing your kids to some more sit down schoolwork. One page has been super manageable for my kids. I started this with both of them when they were four still. 
uh, just because they were they were counting really well already and they were interested and we were already starting to do that junior kindergarten level stuff um and i went with this because i could i could tell that it would be a little bit more hands-on very light and very easy to get through and not overwhelming for them um and they both did really really well with it during that four-year-old pre pre-kindergarten year it covered those main kindergarten math topics counting we started skip counting um they were introduced to addition and subtraction we worked on calendar and shapes and patterns so it really hit all of those main kindergarten math concepts that we needed to be introduced to it set them up really well for transitioning into Singapore Primary Mathematics 1 during their kindergarten year, actually, because they had done this when they were four in pre-kindergarten. So they were really ready to start Primary Math 1. My son was. My daughter is too. She's going into kindergarten this coming year. Um, she's five. We'll be turning six next school year. And she's, she's ready to go with Singapore Primary Mathematics 1. We'll take our time, we'll, you know, do some focused work every day and then have lots of time to play, right? Um, but she is skip counting and she's adding and subtracting and she's just needing more of a challenge and to continue on and that's what we're going to do. The one thing I will say about the whole Math with Confidence program, and this is just something to keep in mind as you look at it and consider it, um, is that not all of these editions are out yet. Um, I think only up to second grade is out at this point. So when I did the kindergarten math with confidence with my older son, when he was four, this kindergarten math, it, this was the, this was it. They didn't have first grade or second grade out yet. Uh, so I had to transition him into something else. So if you're looking for something, that you want to stay consistent in and you don't want to keep switching maths around every year because that can be very frustrating when you're trying to learn math as a student is switching books all the time. If you're wanting to be consistent and you're going to have to pick a program that has all of the additions out, right? Because once you get to third grade and if that addition is not out yet, then, then you have to switch because there's, there's nowhere else to go. Um, so that's just something to keep in mind. Um, I've used just kindergarten. I haven't used the first grade or second grade because like I said, we transition into primary mathematics after using this. I think it's a great overall program and I am looking forward to when the whole series is out. I'm sure a lot of other people are as well. So I hope this was helpful for you. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And if you like homeschooling content or home and school content, definitely subscribe and hopefully we will see you in the next one. Bye now.